It's quarter-final time here at the Arena Antonio Alex in Aradia. We're at the last eight stage of the European Mini Football Champions League 2023. And our first quarter-final is AK Aradia, the defending champions against Pabacha of Azerbaijan. This is a mouth-watering match-up here to start the last eight. So... We're going to find our first semi-finalist here. It's so far so good for AK Aradia in the defence of their crown won a year ago in Slovakia. We shall see whether they will play themselves to within 40 minutes of another shot at the gold medal. But uh, Azerbaijani opponents here in Babacha will be really tough. These are the two preeminent nations in terms of six aside. So that's the AK Aradia squad. They've been imperious so far, three wins for three in the group stage. And then earlier today, a 2 1 victory over Ostrovsky Zabre of the Czech Republic to get through here to the quarterfinals. Babasha overcame FC and as it the challengers from Ukraine. Something a little bit QPR about their shirts here. So that's Babasha in the blue and white hoops. Change strip for Aradia today. Gone. Is the beast stink kit, the yellow and black. Although the goalkeeper will be wearing that. The champions are in all white here. Nothing pure about them though. In front of their own supporters. The 2300 seater venue. Just uh, reduced a little because one side of the uh, venue, the sort of, uh, retractable seating has been put back in its place just because the extra dimensions of the plate surface are needed for six to tide. The Aradia keeper, Razvan Egri, there. And the two captains come together, the two number 10s, Kamil Mamadov of Aradia and his opposite number, Andre Fedik. So, it's the first of our quarter-finals still to come. Sportsco Harama against the Magafana Athens. That's the second quarter-final then, an all-Romanian matchup coming up at 2000 local time. Extra Terrestri Bistrita against Ajax Dulcita Mokalati. This place will be rocking for that. And then rounding off the quarter-final, Zira against ABC Soccer Sixes. Azerbaijan versus the UK. That will provide us with our last semi finalist here in Aradia 2023. So it is Aradia then. That's the way the kickoff is organised in six years. You give the ball to the opposition, they play it straight back to the goalkeeper and the backline players. So, the clock is ticking. 20 minutes each way. If we level after 40, we go straight to penalties. There'll be three penalties apiece. We still level after that. It's uh, into sudden death. The first of the sortie there from Marius Balog of Oradia. Slowly the venue is filling up. We've had a break for the Masters competition throughout the afternoon. 
We saw the completion of the uh, last 16 earlier today and a, a nice few hours rest and recuperation for the competitors during the afternoon. And before one final push here to get in the last four in the, the quarter-final lineup. First run down the right-hand side by Valiev Musayev. Volley just wide. First attempt on goal by Dagiv Ishkin. That's flashed just the wrong side of the pose from a Babasha point of view. The pitch looks good. The surface has been given a bit of a comb. there with a man in possession, Marius Ballot, no decision. Partizan crowd, as you may expect it, supporting the Romanian challengers, Aradia, the champions last year, got hosting honours to defend their crown here in 2023. And it's so far so good, nobody's managed to really lay a glove on them yet. Flick round the corner. That's nicely done. And the left footed shot there from Johan Popper is uh, blocked. 74. Jonat Nemitanu scored the opening goal in the round of 16 match earlier. Two on one. Jafarov crunched there. Aradia able to reset it. Pop up. Just a little shimmy. Gives it to Sabin Distaru. Wearing 70 here. Nice back heel. Distaru. Snapshot. Drills it into the side netting. Ambitious. He's cutting that at the near post. Out of play. Nice and high, but high hands there from uh, Popa. No decision. Uh, you suspect this may go all the way, actually. These are two very evenly matched teams. That was on its way. A good strike from Valiev. Too many bodies though in between him and the already a goal. But they've gained a bit of territory. Here comes the corner. After the man in the defensive position drops to his knees there just to try and face it off. It's going to come in low. It's all about the movement from these set pieces. like he took too long over it. Well, that's a good situation for Babacha. Not taken. Turnover with Aradia Nemitsanu. Goalkeeper beats it away. Two on one. If the pass is good, just a little heavy. Taggy of force wide. The idea was right. So it's a good challenge here to affect that turnover. And 
and they play it deep. Wearing at 22, the big man Andre Sumalan. Boppa, back to his keeper. Lubashi comfortable on the ball. One player takes possession, moves forward, switches it. And now the a colleague just filling in. Sixes. As much about what you do off the ball as on as, as on it. <laughs> Struggling to get a foothold attack wise at the moment, the Azerbaijanis from Babasha. It's a, a rather gritty, attritional affair. Nil-nil here between Aradia and Babasha. First quarter final here. 2023 the European Mini Football Champions League. Here's the throw, might take it just a little jink and a, a shot to break the deadlock. And then it's Arnu, he's dispossessed. <laughs> Emmett Arnu again. Oh, Nemitanu just in danger there of getting entangled. Rezkin Tagiev there, the ball just wouldn't drop in time for the Azerbaijani. Azerbaijan, by the way, the current European champions. Romania won the first six Euros, and they're into the lead here. Shot to nothing from the wide right, spilled by the goalkeeper, and just touched over the line for an opening goal. Right place, right time. The Nebitaru does really well here. Hardly room for the shot, is that? Spilled by the keeper, and it's Silvio Fortuna who makes it 1-0. Ninety-one. One-nil. Oh, they're away here. Not quite. Not quite for Tuna. Wow, wow, Woody. Just unable to anticipate the, the mistake there from the Azerbaijani.
Rabasha on the offensive. Back it comes. Right. Get bodies in the way well. And the goalkeeper just has to readjust to block from Elvin Elizade. Did well to get it on target. Oh, and the follow up, the 77 and the 95. Uh, trying to combine there, Rizaev with that first attempt, and then Tagiev can't put home the rebound. But Razvan Aguirre struggling a little there. And Rabasha, keeper, shows positivity just punching that away. And now we've got a man down. Heck of a run up. Are we going to see a shot? Yes, we are. Spilled by the keeper. It was Ryan Popa. Good challenge. Jafar Jafarov robbed. <laughs> Pop up here. Yeah. On the restart. Safety back to his goalkeeper, Razvan Egeri. Anywhere will do on that occasion. And by Messiah Valiev. Throw to the far post. Yeah, just enough to get it away there, Babasha. Good recovery. Layoff challenge. Bogdan Mintas there. Just stayed with the runner. Got that foot in, poked it away. Good save again. Just enough room for the shot. And they agree. He's saving with his feet. Rezaev with that attempt. Babash here again, moving it nicely. Ending this half on the offensive. Zaliev 
cuts inside on his uh, left peg. All sorts of ricochets and deflections. They're carrying the ball away from the danger zone as far as Aradia are concerned. Good challenge again. Toma Vincene. Sumerland penalised. Nabashi moving on quick. Throw, good keeping. Nice and aggressive from Egri. Side and the shot just carries a little bit high and wide. Not sure that would have counted. I mean, the goalkeeper has plonked that right on the head there of the striker. Balog. Three on one. Good save. Cute little effort from an awful long way out as well from Mintas here. He was sneaking in at the near post, I think. That looked like a trip. Not long to go now in the first half. Here we go, just five extra seconds, Aradia still on course to defend their Champions League title. They lead Bibasha by a goal to nil at the uh, break here, quarter-final, Silvio Fortuna with the goal, so far so good for Aradea.
Silvio Fortuna's goal then, separating the sides. Aradia are leading Babasha by a goal to nil here in the first quarter final of the EMF Champions League 2023. At their own stadium here, the Antonio Alex 2300 seater venue, home of the uh, basketball club here in Aradia, three time Romanian champions. And as we know, Aradia, the European champions of the mini football, six aside. Bavarsia have to commit here in the second half. If we're all square after 40 minutes, we go straight to penalties. There'll be three each. All three Romanian teams, by the way, entered in this competition are here in the quarterfinals. Indeed, two of them meet a little later on tonight here. Breakaway opportunity, but two back to be fair here for Bibasha. Already a push wide. The attempt comes in from Johan Popa. Might be another chance. Popa to retrieve. No. The foul on Jafar Jafarov. Popa. Yeah, just catching his man. Zaria, too heavy for Popper. Looks like there's going to be a speaking to here. Nothing more. Last warning time there for Popa. It's for the foul on Gafarov. Fifth years, Elvin Elizade. Turns on the afterburners. Good ball. Complete miss hit. And it falls to. Now oh, that uh, backup player there. Riz Van. Round the outside he goes. Well shackled. Shot too high. Sometimes that's the only option available. Nemitanu let fly there. A little jink to his right and then the shot. The body's in between him and the goal. Back header over the top. 
route one that can be the way sometimes the goalkeeper straight there to Sumerland didn't get enough cushion on that Ripping shot, that's come right across the face. One of the best moments yet from Babasha. Oof. And he's taken out the photographer on the far side as well. off the side of the post empty cage the goalkeeper was so so casual there it's almost number two that can be the issue the goalkeeper pushes up Quick tackle comes in, possession goes to the other team, can happen in the blink of an eye, and then you play your cards right, you've got an empty goal. Always bodies, always an extra man for Aradia, that's the way it seems. Goalkeeper pulls off a very good save. With a snapshot down the uh, right hand side from Destaru. Really got hold of this, just kicks up, doesn't it? Giving him a half volley. Good save as well. Bit of room there for Elizada. Could actually have brought that down. And once again, they're looking to just use that big man up front. He tries to cushion the header backwards, not quite there. So Babar should get that foot in. Desperate to create an opening, it's poke wide. Coming closer and closer, that time it's Rizvan for Zaliev here. Just extends a little bit and rolls it wide. Takes a nick on the way through, so it's going to be a corner here for Babasha. Drilled backwards, nice honest strike from Elizada. But he's pulled it wide. Elizada just gets that foot in. The challenge is coming in thick and fast. Elizada again here for Babasha. The option player there, Eskin Tajgiev. 
Elizada still going, might be a chance here. Popper looked to be a handball actually. It was Tom of Cheney. I beg your pardon. He seemed to control that with his arm. Again, it sat up nicely. Good technique in the strike. Goalkeeper pulling off the save again. Beautiful little turn, great skill. Well, that was a, a fantastic a piece of skill there from the uh, Babasha wide man, Ejkin Tavgiev. Great first touch and he takes it on with the real style and finesse. Just tries to check it there into Jafarov. Side swipe. A spare man there, but the ball kicked up, and there might have been a, a foot in there on Mintas. It's happened right in front of the already a bench. I mean, there's a pretty fierce rivalry between these two sets of players, and indeed, these two nations full stop. Eskin Elizade. And now oh, very nearly gets the ball tangled. That's exactly what happened to Emil Mamadov. And it results in nothing. So 40 minutes is the target here. With the last 10 of those. The lead is slender. It's still Fortuna's goal. Separating the sides. <laughs> Elizada gets back, just rolls that. Just the, the right side of the post as far as he and Babasha are concerned. Elizada rolls it square. 77. Mimedi Rezaev. And now with the shot, the goalkeeper. Just a little too high. Alizada, oh, just too high again. Well, he's the man to make something happen, surely. Elvin Alizada, lively throughout. But still they draw a blank. That header is away. Is there any space whatsoever here for Babasha? Mamedi. 
Alizada, ah, great strike again. I mean, the goalkeeper gets a glove on that, just about. Terrific hit. It was on its way, wasn't it? It's was going in, needed saving. Elizada again, not that type, it's more of a side footed attempt that from Elvin Elizada. He managed to get a body in the way. A couple of switches towards the end to see them home, Babasha. Can they get this equalising goal? Good challenge. Virtue got in the way of the shot. It's all the Barsha though, isn't it? And his harder still there. Oh, he's dispossessed. They could be in for a second goal. It's a wild finish from Marius Balog. He's gone early there. Trying to embarrass the keeper off his line, he could have taken it on. Rush keepers now. Spun wide. Oh, where's that going to land? Keeper able to punch it away. Gee, they're doing everything but score here for Barsha. Once again, the push forward. The deflection takes it wide. It's going to be a corner. Again for the Azerbaijanis, it has been relentless from Babasha in this second half, but still a radio lead. <laughs> Deflection, must be! No! They scrumble it away. Quite extraordinary. The ball just drop stone dead I mean okay the referee there has spotted a foul of some sort and then their determination to get something anything on that dead ball the Babasha player by the looks of things has just held back the uh, defender well I mean <laughs> who's fouling who there Everyone back. Pulled across. Well defended again. Well, they're doing the job at the other end. Free scoring earlier in this competition, Aradia. But it's all about the defensive operation now. They look happy with their one goal. It's all about soaking up the pressure from here on in for the defending champions. We've got a minute to go of the 40 plus stoppages. There's the throw, that seemed to be a handball. It really did. The oh, decision's gone the other way. Now then, from the throw. Well, that's a handball, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> give it against the Aradia player for pushing him. Shot charged out. The crowd imploring the referee to blow the whistle. It's 
scrambled clear just about. Right, you saw there, they thought that was the final whistle. Is that two extra minutes? The nerves are jangling. The Barsha trying to play it forward, almost an empty cage. Not quite, they're going to shout for handball again here. And the uh, Babasha player, yeah, has sworn at uh, the referee. So that's a, a yellow card for, I think that was Alizade. They're ready to celebrate. Give it away. One more minute, I think, is the call. There's the shot from Elizada. It's over the top. Now the celebrations can begin. Aradia are into the semi-finals. Wow. Fortuna's goal won it here, but that seems an awful long time ago. Babasha had all of that second half, but just couldn't finish. Five wins from five for A.K. Aradia, who can stop them. The defending champions are into the semi-finals on their own pitch. And we've seen something of a pitch invasion here. The hosts absolutely delighted. Aradia just have come through against Babasha. The defending champions are in the last four.
Tadaba from Greece, it is Magafana FC Athens. This for a place in the last four. Now, the PA's died down a bit, thank goodness. And uh, we are ready then for our second quarter final. So, Aradia just about eked out a win against Babasha earlier. So, uh, <laughs> the home fans will be happy. They've done their bit. That was in the 6 p.m. local time match. So, we're at 1900 here for our second quarter final. So Radia await in the last four, the winners of these two. It's a dubious honour that because the hosts and defending champions have been absolutely ripping in their form so far. But you can get at them, as Babashi showed, certainly in the second half of that first quarter final. This is uh, Magafana FC in the blue. And the sports go Bravso Shabanog Harama of Montenegro in the all black strip here. We're underway then, quarter-final number two. It was a slightly less raucous atmosphere than we witnessed for that first last eight match. No surprising, really, considering that contained the uh, host team, Aradia. And some nice interplay with everyone being given a kick. Early doors here, that seemed to be a trip. Radonjic there bringing down his opponent. Big delay over the free kick, then it's played into the near post and pushed away. And the first little roll and attempt over the top from Stefan Ivanovic there. And it's played long, out of bounds. So maybe Hirama can do something here. Step in field. Nikola Pejovic. Sidestep could run this by Pejovic, but he's been dispossessed. A three on two. 13 for Magafada. That's Janis Litsis.
It's this again. No, empty cage. Goalkeeper gets uh, back a little belatedly. His defence helped him out. And Sarama in possession. Pejovic here. Onto his left foot. Just seeking out that far corner. Down smartly, Mazakis there, the goalkeeper. Nice tidy save. Well, that was a zippy play. It's a delightful ball there to Dionysos Zanatos. Who hit that first time. It was a really sharp angle as well. He's cut that across expertly. Good save too. There's the layoff, pull back. Yeah. Just not enough room there for that interplay between uh, Radonic there, the 20, and even Tomasevic, number five. So a rather low key start, really, compared to what we saw a little earlier. Goalkeeper has a sight at. Oof, rocket. A little too high there from Ivan Tomasevich. Worth having a go. Everyone shooting on sight here in the opening five minutes or so. Still goalless here between Harama of Montenegro and Greece's Magafana FC. Uh, not much interplay going on, is there? It's... Okay, to shoot on sight. Rama can try and do something, maybe. Back heel, nice idea. Stepping back to defend Ioannis Panaidis. Did well. There's the challenge. Goalkeeper, very cool in the circumstances. This uses his head quite literally. And the danger of him being dispossessed there and then there would have been an empty net
Deflection. Good defending from Magafana. Enough bodies in the way there. And then they try and turn defence into attack quickly. Layoff, not quite, might open up here, good save, empty net, not quite. Super defending again from Harama. First chance there was for Dimitris Knitsas. Couldn't get a clean strike away. Goalkeeper did well though, really well there. Uh, not once but twice the opportunity and there was a, a chance before that as well for Contitas but his effort was saved and the rangy ball forward just uh, carries out of play still no score here very tight very cagey in this uh, European mini football quarter final Champions League Aradia await the winners. Still going, forces the save as well. That was really well played by Giorgio Singopoulos. Really strong here. Sidestep beating the first player, then the second player, then the first player again for the second time. And hitting that against the Bogolyub Komalina, the Harama keeper. Step inside for that dispossession. I would say at the moment, Magufade just shading things. Still no finish though. Good save again, and again. Wow, the goalkeeper here for Harama is uh, <laughs> having a blinder. And look at that at the other end. What a strike. What a strike from Comatina. I mean, this after the double, triple save here, denying Georgios Singopoulos. What brilliant keeping that was. And then at the other end, it would have been a goal of the tournament contender had that landed just a little lower on the volley from Bogolyub Komatina. It's a fantastic attempt. It always helps as you, if you're right behind it as well as uh, is the case with this uh, commentary position up in the gods here. Well, 
I just wonder if we've got a contender for the first penalty shootout of the, the quarterfinals. No, nothing doing there. The agricultural challenge, and uh, that's away. One, two. Uh, squirms loose, not quite. Goalkeeper again. MVP at the moment. The Harama keeper. Combinations, just a whisker from coming off, and then the run and shot dragged just wide by Konstantinos Papos there for Magafana. I mean, they are having the best of it at present, no doubt about it. The Greek team. Free kick. Low strike deflected just wide, not far away at all. Can't expect the goalkeeper to keep the minute forever here. Harama. Slide will pass straight up to Bogolyub Kobatina. Uh, he's bundled over a bit clumsily, so this will be a free kick. What a goal! That breaks the deadlock. Even Tomasevic, clean as a whistle, drilled that through the wall past the goalkeeper who didn't smell it. Fantastic hit here for 1 0 Harama. Against the run of play, you have to say. Get your set pieces right in six aside, you're halfway there. Fantastic way to break the deadlock. Again, a save. Oh, I make that a good six saves now solidly in the first 16 minutes of this match from uh, Raiko Grusic. Oh, he can't keep that one out. And Magafada equalise. And again, you cannot begrudge them that. Even then, the keeper has almost kept it out. But it's forced home just there from the throw-in. Apostolos Palomenos, 1-1.
did really well to keep that just about under control. He sidestepped the defender and just about drags that up and over. And you know what, Rama were ahead for all of a minute and a half there. Great response from Magafana FC Athens. Honest strike. Flashes wide though from Dragon Radaman. And the flick goalwards. Just a, a brush off the defender there, so that will be a corner. Shot on the turn, that's the volley, well fielded. Half time, 1 1, all square. Even Tomasevic with a brilliantly struck free kick gave Harama the lead. That was a lead that lasted for just a minute and a half, and then Apostolos Balamenos forced the ball home. Raiko Grusic, the Harama keeper, has had a fantastic match, but he couldn't keep out the equaliser. And we are all square at the break in this second EMF Champions League quarter final.
Second half is underway then. 1-1, the score is locked between Harama and Magafana FC. This replacing the semi-finals here of the Champions League. Six aside, straight away is an opportunity for Nikola Pejovic. The dribble uh, runs into the goalkeeper, just ran out of room, really ran out of pitch in the final shake-up. And what a start that would have been to the second half for Harama. Pejovic again. This squirrels the ball wide for Nikola Radonjic. Now then, he cuts in field, flashes the shot wide. A fine attempt. Goalkeeper to goalkeeper. Through ball was the attempt. Uh, Demetrius Kanitas was uh, racing through. Two on two. Useful challenge there. Darko Rajevic. Short's going to come all the way back and then to uh, wide right, no way through there, down that uh, right flank. Flicked over the top. Ripper of a volley, even Tomasevic, the scorer. I mean, we know he's got a shot on him. Oh, that would have decapitated anyone in its way. Super attempt. Ball over the top, two on one, not quite, good defending, had to stand his ground there, Nikola Radonjic gets it away and then they flick it wide right, but the uh, attack doesn't quite come off. short just the hassling and harrying of the uh, man in possession there the foulers has gone against Darko Rajkovic in a similar sort of position actually that uh, Harama scored their goal tonight Off Ripper again. That's just uh, been pulled wide by uh, Balaminos here. It was a really good hit. 
through as an arrow. Well played. Bogley of Comitina there with the uh, twist and turn onto that left foot. Couldn't quite make it. Goalkeeper fields it, and they'll be happy about that. Switch there, no, no way through. So possession given away to Harama. We've had 26 minutes of this second quarter final. Oh, slap straight over the top again. Does well. No, finally the whistle goes. Just backing into the defender. And using his body in uh, a none too legal fashion. Shot was drilled in low. There's the lift over the top and the header away. Three on two. Yeah, first touch has got to be a little bit better than that. Now then, oh, he took it on. Good save. Good save. Nikola Pejovic there. Drawing the stop. So smart save for Marios Mazakis. They're with his feet, I thought they'd over-egged it. Good stuff. Corner for Harama. It's thumped across. Blocked and away. Give it away. Three on two, counter-attacking situation possibilities here for Magafana. Uh, it's uh, poked out by Dionysos Sanitos. Couldn't get away down the uh, left-hand side, was struggling really to find a colleague square. So this one may go all the way. Megafana have it. Little lift over. Nice bit of acrobatics there in the attempt from Singopoulos. But the goalkeeper stayed tall and firm there. Switch to the middle. Yeah, not quite, not quite there.
Left hand attack, another good save. But often been uh, the case really today, the match of goalkeepers. There we go, thrashed in at the near post. They finally found a route through. It's a really good finish. Both of the Harama goals have been supremely well taken. Really honest hits, both of them. Quick set piece, that's what's done the damage and that is a superb hit for the second time in the match from even Tomasevic. 2-1 inside the last 10 minutes here. For sports go Bratsvo Shabanog Rama. Can they do anything on the twist? It's going to be a free kick. Not far away from the third goal. Goalkeeper steps forward now. Sanetos, not far away. I mean, that's a heck of an attempt, actually, blind like that, wrapping his left foot around the attempt Just to try and get it on target. And Papos just rolls it up and around. Two is the back markers here for Magafana. And yeah, just uh, a problem there with Papos edging it back to Mazakis. Uh, not quite on the same wavelength for a cheap corner. Give it away. Goalkeeper drops on the ball. Nice attempt by Dionysus Zanetos. It sat up nicely for it. We're closing in now on the 35 minute marker. There's the shot. And the block. 
Hirama still clinging on to this 2-1 lead. Reflection up and over. Dionysos Sedesos, it just opened up for him here. A cleaner strike, and the goalkeeper would have been more severely tested. A low strike. Keeper in the way. Ripping attempt. Empty cage. I think he was just being held back there, Damian Otisevic, as he released that attempt. Yeah, they're going to be uh, going back here for a free kick. Nice layoff. This could seal it. Oh, it's wide. That was the moment, surely, to wrap it up here for Harama. He's just pulled it a little there. As your Russian. Lovely little layoff. Just to flick round the corner. I mean, as it is, they're still vulnerable. Oh, it's wide at the other end. Magafada, the goalkeeper was beaten. He was nowhere there. Raiko Grusic. That's so agonising for Magafana. Time almost out for them and there haven't been too many injury stoppages in this one. So just over a minute for the men in black to try and do something. No, they ran out of room. The right hand side there, so on we will go. Interception was important, I think he was just caught after the ball went. No, play continues. Empty goal, no, no composure there. Damian Otisevic, that really would have wrapped it up. But he just didn't have the, the guile to roll the ball over the line.
There we go. That's the full-time whistle. They've just about held on to their lead here, Rama, to go through to a semi-final meeting with AK Aradia. Now, that'll be a, a tough fixture for them. In the huddle, cheering and celebrating a hard-fought win over Magafana, Athens. Even Thomas Savic with two brilliant goals here as Hirama see out the win. 2-1 against Magafana.
So are you ready for this one? Here we are at the EMF Masters Champions League in the Antonio Alexia Arena in Aradia, Romania. And we have an all Romanian affair for the third of these quarterfinal games to determine who goes through to the semi-finals tomorrow morning right here in Aradia in Romania. We have Bistrita from Romania and we all also have Ajax, Dulcia Zimo, Galati also from Romania. If you remember, Bistrita had an unbelievable, unbelievable last 16 game this morning where they ran out 10-0 winners over DXC Technology from Bulgaria. On the other half of the pitch, we have the other Romanian outfit. Calls himself Ajax. Had a particularly comfortable morning as well this morning, beating uh, Bernal from Czech Republic 4-1. So it's an all-Romanian affair. We're guaranteed to have two Romanian teams into the semi-finals as AEK Aradia overcome one of my favourite teams so far in the tournament, Berbasha, 1-0 in the first game of tonight's quarter-finals. Also joining these in the semi-final, or one of these in the semi-final, will be Sportsco Brasfo from Montenegro. And then the final game, I'm straight after this one, with yours truly, is Zia from Azerbaijan and ABC Soccer Sixers from my home nation, the United Kingdom. That's coming up next after this game. The first... Let's see which of these Romanian outfits is going to make it into the semi-finals, a good start, it's a positive start. From Bistrita. It's good play, the drag to out of possession there. Great ball down the line, pulls it back. Two early shots, two similar angles from both teams. Ajax, by the way, were 1-0 down at half-time in their last 16 game this morning. After a pretty poor first-half display, they turned it round in the second half and absolutely blew the checks away, scoring four goals with no return to take them through to tonight's quarter-finals. And here they are. Playing against the Romanian counterparts, Bistrita. I'm looking forward to this. I hope you guys are at home. Sit back and enjoy as we've got around about 40 minutes of top level six aside football coming your way from Aradia here in Romania takes a step in style launches the ball and I tell you what it's not far wide goal kick to Ajax he's gone long the referee signaling for a free kick. So free kick, good position to the Ajax team from Romania. Good early opportunity. Can they make the most of it? Pull to the left. He rolls the ball in. There's a push there. There's no claim. He's limping about. No claim for the penalty, so it must have been. It must have been okay. Good movement from the middle there. Great forward play. Dragging the defenders out of position. Good effort, good save. It was a keeper, by the way, for Ajax that broke the deadlock. Or kind of broke the deadlock for him in the first game this morning. Had a shot from inside his own half, which the keeper spilt from the Berno team, the Czech Republic team this morning. And he had a teammate there to follow it up. And he got them back into the game at 1-1.
So Bistrito will have to be aware of the keeper and his shots. It's a good play, good one too. Tries to find a man out wide. Just a little bit too much heavy, too much purchase on that there. Goal kick to Ajax. They've made the more positive start at the minute. Pistrita trying to stay compact, in shape, make it difficult. This is the problem they've got. He had a shot earlier. And like I said, the keeper earlier pulled off a save. He spilled it. And one of his teammates was there to tap it home. It got them back in the game. It brought them back to 1-1. So Pistrita need to be aware of the keeper's forward, forward shooting abilities. It's been a really good start for Ajax. They're in control this game at the minute. Things change quickly though in football, especially in soccer sixes. You've got to have your, your mind switched on at all times. Easily blocked. Finds his forward man. Nice knock to the midfield, it's a good touch back. He's having to go from distance. And there's a block in there from Bistrita. So again, very little pressure on the keeper. He's going to have a dig here, you know. He is going to have a dig, and it's a good dig. And he's having a head back. He's got some cover, the keeper's gone for it. So that's twice now. The streeter have had that trap twice from him, twice to let him come. They can't allow him to do that much more. It happened in today's earlier game. It led to a goal. And then there was no looking back for the Ajax team from Romania. So, shot from distance he has in, it is, it's a great shot, it's a great save, and it's another one coming in, nicely blocked there by the Ajax defender, now it's time for the streeter's keeper to march forward towards the halfway line, he's going to have a dig as well, it's touched, I don't know, the stadium roof, the wall, it's not the roof, it's the wall, it's the overhang, throw-in's been given, the streets are looking to go long. It's a great bit of play. Oh, just couldn't get his foot over the top of the ball. Great opportunity. Still no nil. Six minutes played. It's been a good start. Great game. Quarter-final stages now. Only the best teams are left in this. So it should be high quality from here and into the final tomorrow night. Super challenge. Corner kick to Ajax. Oh, he went for it low. He went to try and get the man running towards the near post. It was an important block. Could have gone anywhere though, that. Could have ended up in the back of his own net. As it happens, another corner kick. Score remains nil nil. Long throw to the back stick on the volley. It's a good block. The street are trying to put the pressure on. They have won it back, they have good work by Bistrita. It's a volley. It's a brilliant save. Down his, uh, his near post. Kind of parried that behind. I, I, I think it is, uh, it's an unorthodox save if you like, but it's, uh, it's a super save nonetheless, because if he doesn't make it, it's going in. Corner taken short. Then he's been sold short. And he's got round the defender, and he's thrown the keeper, and it's across the face of the goal. It's unlucky. It's a bit of a let off that. That's brilliant play. Really good idea. Just asking maybe a little bit too much. What a layoff with the head. And the voice here, back post, and it's an early goal! 
You cannot say it's not been coming. You cannot say they've not deserved it. Because they have. In the opening eight minutes, they've been the better team. They've had the better chances. They've controlled the play. And Ajax take an early lead in this ninth minute here at the Antonio Alexei Arena in Aradia, Romania. It's been coming. They've been well in control of this game. There's been warning signs there for Bistrita. Shot long, long way out there. I think it's going to take more than that to beat the keeper in the in the Ajax goal. He's one of the standout players from the, the last 16 game this morning. Trying to work the ball now, but they've been put under pressure all the time by Ajax, and they look really in, in the mood here. They want more goals. So Bastrita, this is a good bit of play though by Bastrita, but again, they're hounded out of it, not given the time. It's been a pretty dominant display so far, one that I'm enjoying watching up here at the gantry box. And again, another shot from distance. It's got to, it's got to think a little bit better than that. It's going to take something. This keeper's been one of the best keepers in the tournament. Both with his hands and his feet, and it's going to take something decent to beat him. Need to be a little bit more inventive than just a long shot. Ajax dealing with it pretty comfortably at the minute. Again, just to point out a couple of differences between the team. When the Bastrita players are in possession of the ball, the Ajax players are a lot more positive in coming out to close them down, block the shots, block the passes, putting them under pressure. Like now, running right back to the keeper, whereas the main game plan so far for Bastrita has been when the, the Ajax players have had the ball, they've been sitting off and allowing them time to work the magic with the ball. There's been a bit of a coming together there. A free kick has been given. I think both players are okay. No yellow card. Just a free kick. And it's back to the keeper. And this is what I mean. There's no pressure on him. He can, he can roll it out. There's a little bit of pressure now, but what they've done is that he's too slow to get out. He's not followed by his teammates. So what happens when he does that? He leaves the player wide open. If you're going to press, you've got to press in packs. Makes it really difficult this game or any game of football if there's only one person pressing. Because what you do is you leave a massive gap in the middle of the field. You leave a space in behind. There's always a man over. So if you're going to press, you need to get out there and press in twos. Ajax now taking a little bit of a breathe themselves. Bit of a change of plan, they're allowing the, the other keeper to come. And you can see there that the Ajax keeper put his head in his hands, I think that was more relief. Because I think he thought for a minute that was hitting the bottom, of the, bottom, bottom corner of the net. And they've got a break on here. It's a fabulous ball. Oh, it's just, just a little bit too much. So 12 minutes gone. Bastrita from Romania nil, Ajax from Romania won. And it's been all about the team called Ajax in these opening exchanges. But Bastrita still very much in this game. Remember they hit 10 goals without replying their earlier game this morning. It was a really impressive dominant display. Now that, wow. I mean, you've got to take your hats off to the to the effort, but also the same. I, I said at the beginning of the game, the keeper's been one of the best keepers in this European Mini Football Champions League tournament. And he's showing it again there. It's a brilliant save. So Ajax just starting to hang back a little bit now. The tactics changed a little bit. Either that or there's maybe some tired legs at the end of this first half. It is the second game of the day today. The weather here in Aradia has been 
It's been sweltering most of the day, 27, 28 degrees. The stadium's really warm. There's no fans blowing onto the pitch, no air conditioning. It's, a, it's got a, a real greenhouse feel to the temperature inside the stadium. So it will take its toll, given the second game of the day for both of these sides. It's a great idea, that quick throw. Went for the near post, just couldn't get the contact. Try that one again, Mulder. He's gone for the back post this time. It's a good header by the Bistrita defender. Goes for the throw to the back post. Keeper gets a touch on that. It's going to be another corner for Ajax. Another opportunity for them to double the lead. It's been a brilliant first half display from them so far. But it's only 1-0. And he's gone to try and find his mate there that was just... Well, he was behind the player. It was, um, it was a pass that was never going to happen. And that's what makes you wonder, with the heat in here, will the game be decided on who's the fittest, who can handle the, the extreme temperatures in here? And the second game of the day, the pressure of being in a quarter-final, the pressure of being a, a Romanian team in a Romanian tournament. The way things stand, there's still a possibility for the holders Romania that they could have either two teams into the final or no teams in the final. Although given what I've seen from AEK Aradia so far, I think they're it's gonna take a big effort for someone to stop them retaining the title so far. Keepers having I thought that was a dig, I'm not sure it was it was a shot or a pass. That was definitely a shot. One that you'd probably rather forget as well. So we're entering the last five minutes of the first half. So far as it stands, it's 1-0 to Ajax. The streets are on the ball. Trying to tempt the keeper out of his area a little bit. He's not as forthcoming as the other one. <laughs> He's more comfortable with his hands and his feet. Although he's had a couple of shots. Oh, that's good footwork. It's a great ball in, there's nobody there for it. Throw into Ajax. It's easy that one for the keeper over the heads. Oh, there's a bit of there's a bit of afters. Oh, the handbags are out. Oh, it's a little shove. He's not happy. I'm not quite sure what his little shove was going to achieve there, but... <laughs> There's nothing in that, is there? There's nothing in that. Come on, boys, just get on with it. There's nothing in it. It's a nothingness, really. Let's get the game back on. Come on. Put the bags away. A great ball, crossfield ball, unlucky, great effort. If he connects with that, a couple of yards forward, he's either having a shot or laying it across to his partner at the back stick. Ajax on the ball. Good work, good turn. Unlucky. Right idea there, trying to draw out the defence, create the space in behind for his wingmen and then run back into it and hopefully get on the end of it. Got to be precise in six-a-side football. Smaller pitches, smaller goals. Teams can be really tough to break down. That's what I mean. The, the, the first goal's are all important one. It's a good physical battle. They're calling for a free kick. They've not got one. And now they're on the break, and it's a great first touch, and he's in. And again. Oh, look at that for a celebration. He celebrates better than strikers. I could watch his keeper all day. <laughs> Go on, lad. Brilliant. 
absolutely brilliant. I love characters like that. There's not enough of them anymore. Brilliant. Why not celebrate your work? He's been one of the stars of, the, of their team, this, uh, this Champions League tournament. And like I said, I know I've said it about three times, but the way he got him back into the game earlier this morning with a shot that the, that the, the opposition keeper spilled was, uh, was, was pretty good. So, a little over a minute to go. Ajax in the driving seat. The streets are looking for the all-important goal to get them back in it. It's a great turn. It's good defending, good covering, helping his partner out there. And he's gone long. And it's a goal kick. Popping it about. Oh, unlucky. Ajax on the break. Oh, just a little bit over hit there. Both teams will be ready for the water break at half time. Take on some fluids in this extremely hot arena. As they both then come out, I imagine, for the second half, giving it their all to try and get through to the semi finals, which are on first thing tomorrow morning. Here we go with a free kick. Lays it off. It's a block. Can they get on the break? No. The street to win it back. And that is half time. Brilliant first half. Loads of action. Star of the show so far has to be the keeper from Ajax. Brilliant keeper with the ball, without the ball. And he's a bit of a character as well, which we love to see. Join us in around about three minutes time as we kick off the second half to see whether the Streeter can overturn this 1-0 deficit and do what Ajax did in their earlier game today and turn a losing position at half-time into a winning one. I'll be back in a few minutes for the second half.
So here we go. Second half of the third quarter final here at the Antonio Alexi Arena in Orade or I keep saying this the wrong way, Aradia, Romania, for the European Mini Football Champions League. Two Romanian teams, both trying to get into the semi final. There can only be one. And at the minute, it's Ajax in the driving seat with Bastrita now on the ball, trying to work away back into the game. It's been a lively half time interval. All the local kids have been on the pitch having a go at scoring in the goals. Mistake Hilly Dawes there. Could it be two? They've got a fabulous opportunity. It's a brilliant save. Keeper went down early, could have maybe tried and lifted it. 2-0, that would have been some scoreline to come back from, given the way the game has gone so far. Rebe Street are back on the ball. It's good work. Oh, I'm not sure there's a lot wrong with that, to be honest. It was coming together, shoulder to shoulder. Anyway, come back to my original point. It's been a brilliant tournament here in Aradia. I put on for the locals, especially the kids. It's free to get in. All the local kids have been on the pitch at half-time, having a kick around, trying to score their own goals. Which they're allowed to do. It's, a, it's, a, it's been brilliant for them. They had a tournament on yesterday day in the middle of the main fixtures for the local schools to get the teams together and come and have a go and play football in this brilliant little stadium. Which will be a fantastic experience, one they'll probably never forget. So for the locals, free entry, good seats, plenty of food and entertainment on outside. They'll be hoping the EMF bring the Champions League or other formats, other competitions back to Aradia because I'm sure the locals will have enjoyed themselves. So Bastrita on the ball. Still trying to find a way back into this game from the early opening goal from Ajax. They've got some work to do though. So far, Ajax have been simply superb. Keeper's gone for a long throw. You don't see many long throws in this six-a-side game. Player down injured here at the minute. Referee calling for the game to be halted so the player can get some treatment. A little bit of magic sponge. He'll be okay. He's up. So there's a little bit of argument going on, on the sideline between Bastrita, manager and one of the Ajax players on the pitch. Referee stepped in. Still carrying on a little bit. Words being exchanged. Referee positioning himself in between the two. Making sure it doesn't get out of hand. Still waiting here for a, a signal to say the game has been restarted. I think it has been restarted and the keeper's just been... Stood there waiting for somebody to make him do something. Oh! Well, it's a bit of a pot shot, really, that, and they almost got lucky with the deflection into the back of the net. Ooh. Trying to get the ball moving quick here at Bastrita. I've got a problem now, though, because I've got players overlapping. It's a good first touch. Ah, oh, it's done two players. Oh, there's a tackle coming back in. Again, he's given a free kick. I'm not so sure about it. He's, he's taken a swing to kick the ball and the players kind of ran in front of him. It's an odd one, that, for me. And I'm not sure what, what the referee wants him to do there. And he's going to have a go from range. Easy for the cat, and he's having to go for the goal. He found his teammate. Surely it's a two. Oh, you've got to just remain calm. Remain calm, even take a touch, take it further in goal. But you've got to keep it down. You've got to pick a corner there, pick a spot. You're 2 0 up, you're cruising. And there's another opportunity. Can he get it a second time? This time he does have a touch. And he's getting told off again. So his teammate had to go in for it the first time before. And he's just have a go at him this time for taking a touch. 
Oh, he can do no right for doing wrong. He's still not happy, his teammate. And he's gone off. I think he's upset. But, <laughs> I mean, he has had two glorious opportunities to put them 2 0 up, which would have made it a, a really difficult task. Up a street to get back into it. I think the first the first occasion he could have maybe took a touch, but I think the second occasion he should have maybe hit it first time, and he chose the wrong option on on both times. <laughs> and there's a little bit of gamesmanship going off here. I've I've just seen the substitute keeper on the bench for Ajax screaming at his uh, teammate who was on the floor at the minute to stay down. He was about to get back up, and he's told him to stay on the ground. Waste a bit of time. Keep the clock ticking without any football being played. Yes, it happens in six aside as well. Got a break on here though. He's gone past his man. He's put a ball in and he's out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. Ajax have been in total control. They've gone to sleep from a restart. He's crossed the ball, it looks like he's took a little flick on its way through to the player. Let's just have another look. It has. It looks like he was going to the centre back to clear it. His teammates touched it, he took it away from his own player. And into the feet of an oncoming Bastrita player to make it one all. And it really is against the runner play. And will that change the way this game's going now? Ajax seems to be cruising and in control. And they had two glorious opportunities to make it 2-0, they missed them. And then what's happened is, such is football, they've gone down the other end, there's been a deflection off of one of their own players, put the ball in the path of a Bastrita player, and he has made it 1-1. It's starting to get a little heated out there now, feels like a Romanian derby. It's 1-1, we're 27 minutes into the game, 7 minutes into the second half, 13 minutes remaining, and everything to play for for both sides, it's going to get interesting this. Went for the shot, there's a break on here, he's been blocked, he's gone, he's going to get the throw, oh he just took his eyes off the ball, and then he's had a wild effort, wild. So it's all square. 1-1. One, one. And now Ajax resorting to pretty much a long ball system. Trying to hit the big man up top, looking for a flick on or a head into the back of the net. And now they've got a man to the... Oh, it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant effort. It's a brilliant save. It's hard to knock him, but if he had got his head up, he had a teammate free at the far post, given his body shape, given how he hit the ball, it would have been possible to find his man at the back stick, but he decides to shoot. And it, I mean, he can't take anything away from the strike, it's just a phenomenal save. It's too long that, going to sail out of play for an Ajax goal kick. Game's getting stretched. Tired minds, tired legs. Heading towards the last quarter of the game. It's 1-1. No penalties so far. Could this be the first game where we see a penalty kick? Or can one of the teams claim the win? Great ball out to the wide. Good work though by Bistrita. They've done well this second half. They've really got themselves back into it. They've got the all-important goal. Because at one point in the first half, you're thinking, doesn't look any way back in it for him. Long throw, back post, nobody there. Easily headed clear. Long throw again, bit of a miscommunication, players running all different angles, none of them towards the ball. 
keeper himself is hanging back here. Is he tempted to come out or is he doesn't want to risk a goal going in now? Is they are at one all. Another goal you would you would think. Ten minutes remaining on the clock will make it hard for him to get back in the game. He's having a long range strat, and that's what I'm saying about the dangers of doing that. But they recovered well. Ajax player went and obstructed the keeper, really stopped him taking that quick throw. 1-1. One, one. Hotting up, everything to play for, both teams. A brilliant game, this. Brilliant game, both teams fully committed. Both teams leaving everything out on the pitch. You can see how much it means to both sets of players. It's flown by this game. Can't believe we're into the last nine minutes already. Got lucky there with the clearance. I actually need to start playing the football again. What, what made them successful in the first half has stopped a little bit in the second. A lot of credit to Mastrita for making that happen, though. Good defending. Got back. Keepers cleared it. Straight back to Ajax. They bring the ball forward again. He's going to have a dig, I think. I was looking for the pass there. It's been kicked all the way up here, that near me. Into the stands for a throw in. Looks like he's having a breather here. None of them want to risk conceding that next goal. I mean, it almost looks like... <laughs> it almost looks like the keeper's happy to take on penalties here at the minute. It's... Slowly coming forward. And there we have it, pass. And we're off. And back to the keeper. Ten minutes telling him to calm it down. He's slowly creeping his way up to the halfway line. Got on the ball in the middle. Easily cleared. So Ajax have the ball again. Looking for that one moment of magic. In the last... The last seven minutes... Of this quarter-final tie. It's been a great quarter-final. Ajax set off like a rocket out the traps. Early goal. Really controlled the first half. Had chances in the second, two came back to back, which would have seen him 2 0 up and I wouldn't say put the game to bed, but it would have been a long road back for Bastrita then. But they failed to capitalise on both of the chances. And then immediately got sucker punched at the other end, creating a goal, making it 1 1. Squaring things up on the night. And they failed to really settle since that goal. So the streets are on the ball. They are, their keeper is coming out. He's playing a bit of sweeper keeper now. Gonna have a dig from long range. I tell you what, he kept it low, but it was just wide of the post. It'd be interesting to see what would have happened if that had been on target, because it was flying. Again, they've gone long. Again, it sailed out of play. It's, it's a bit desperation football. It's it's not what we was. It's not what we're seeing from them. In the first half and the opening exchanges of the second, it's it's got a little bit desperate. Good header. Trying to take his man on. I think he's run that out himself. In. Play himself there. He's, he's contesting the decision, but I think the, the officials have got that one correct. He's played it in long this time on the floor, but it's they've won the throw, but.
it's still pretty much the same result. So a challenge into the back leads to a Bastrita free kick in the Ajax territory. This is an opportunity. There's around about five minutes left. A goal here would surely seal it. It's going to have a strike. It's took a deflection. It's gone wide. Could have gone anywhere. Corner kick to the streeter. There's a look for the all-important second goal to take them through to the semi-finals tomorrow morning. We're four, minu four minutes away from penalties here. It's a good challenge. The streets are on the ball. No team wanting to give this away now. Both teams are reluctant to come out of their own halves, making sure they're difficult to break down, making sure they don't give away a vital goal. And it's, oh, he had a break on. And he's given a free kick. And the referee's going over to talk to the Bastrita bench. He's not happy with them. Three minutes away. He's got to get a move on here, the keeper, if he wants to avoid penalties. Oh, it's close to being intercepted. He's going to have a shot. Oh, it's a great deflection. Cannon's off his, off his own teammate, and again, could have gone anywhere. Luckily for them, went out for a corner and not a goal. Corner kick. Good block. Throw in now to Ajax. Last two minutes of the game. A goal here. Surely it's curtains for whoever concedes it. Throw into Bastrita. Goalkeeper's telling his teammate, keep it calm. To the press, to the hold off. Holding off at the minute. Final two minutes of regulation time. Play it out wide. No free kick given. Free kick on the other way. Again, Bastrita. And not happy with the referee's decision. And he's booked him. Yellow card. So what have we got here? Last minute. He's got to have a go, hasn't he? Surely. He has had a go. Oh, and he draws a save as well. The keeper's down, claiming to be injured. I don't think there was a lot in it from the opposition play. It was a save that had to be made. There's some magic rub on it. Bit of water. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll be fine now. It's a brilliant save though. Keeps his team in the game. They'll need more of that from him if it goes to penalties. Goes near post. 
Well, we're into added time now. Any goal for any team would surely be the winner. Otherwise, it's penalties. And there's an opportunity right at the end. Oh, and he cannot keep it low. It needed a calm head. It needed a calm finish. And instead, it's blazed. Blazed over the crossbar. They've had second half three glorious chances, Ajax, to put this game to bed. And the kind of chances you'll look back on if, if you end up getting knocked out here and think, well, we should have won that game. And they'll only have themselves to blame. Three absolute glorious chances in this second half. The first two came when they were one to look. That one came and they added time. It would have been game over. Curtain's done. It's an awkward bounce there, but he has it. And we have penalties. For the first time. How are the nerves holding up? Who's brave enough to take one? Who's not brave enough to take one? Are they going to be changing keepers? Have they got special specialist keepers for the penalties? The Ajax keeper, the, the sub-keeper that's on the bench, looks like he's getting himself warmed up. Does that mean we're going to see a change of keeper? For the penalties, I'd be surprised because the keeper from Ajax has been one of their standout players for me. But it looks like there might be a possibility of a change. People always say penalties is a cruel way to be knocked out of a competition. But if you're a neutral, like I am tonight, it's probably the most exciting way <laughs> to decide a game of football when the teams can't be split. I don't see what else you could do, really. I don't see any other... You can't just keep playing football forever and ever and ever. There has to be a way to split the teams at the end. It's ruthless. But that's sport. Local kids back out on the pitch, trying to get the little moment of glory before the, the men come back on. And it's been a great tournament for that. It's been a great tournament for the kids of the area. Coming down here, watching some, some great six-a-side teams, being able to get involved, free access. They had a schools tournament on for them like yesterday. It's been a brilliant Champions League. So far here at Radia, Romania by the EMF. In the Antonio Alexa Arena. But there has to be a loser tonight. This game cannot roll forward. It cannot be a draw. Who's going to get the win? They're on, the toss is underway now to see who takes the first penalty. So, penalties it is. Look like I axe it up first. It's taking um, one of the longest run ups you're ever likely to see. So there's a lot of movement on the pitch at the minute. It can't be doing his nerves any good. So first penalty for Ajax. And it's 1 0. Top corner. Great penalty. No chance for the keeper. And it's Ajax with the early lead. Over to Bastrita now. 
pressure's on them. Steps up, bottom corner, clinical. One all, two really good penalties to start with. The street to keeper coming out, trying to play some mind games. Has it worked? Second penalty for Ajax. Here we go. Oh, whoa! And he's mad with himself. He got a hand to it, but the power takes it through. And it's 2-1 to Ajax. Second penalty for Bastrita. It's 2-1 at the minute to Ajax. Here we go. And it's a save! It's not the best penalty. It's gone down the middle. The keeper's managed to dangle a leg. And if this goes in, Ajax are through. Bit of mind games from the keeper. There's only three penalties, remember. If it's all square after three, it's sudden death. So they had the opportunity to kill the game earlier, they missed it. Can they put it to bed this time? Yes, they can! Bottom corner! 3 1 on penalties to Ajax. After the game finished 1 1. Super game. It's a super feeling if you win. But it's the lowest of the low if you go out on penalty kicks. I do think in reflection of the game the, the better team has gone through on penalties and I've talked to you about all game about how good their keeper is and how he got them back into the game earlier on in the day and he's just pulled off a penalty save which has sent them through to the semi-finals. So Ajax from Romania will be back here tomorrow morning to compete in a semi-final game to get them through to the final tomorrow night here in the EMF Champions League super game I'm excited because we've got one more to go so stick with us I'll be back in about 10 minutes as we kick off with the last of our quarter-finals from the Champions League here at the Antonio Alexi Arena in Aradia, Romania
So here we go. It's the final match of the quarterfinals here at Antonio Alexi Arena for the EMF Champions League at Aradia in Romania. We have Zira from the Azerbaijan and ABC Soccer Sixers representing my home country, Great Britain. It's going to be an interesting game. Both teams here to fight it out. To get to that semi-final spot tomorrow, which guarantees them another two games. It's the semi-final in the morning. It's the third and fourth place playoff tomorrow night, followed by the grand final. So let's see how this one plays out. Zero from Azerbaijan, ABC Soccer Sixers from Great Britain. The last one of the evening on another brilliant evening of football here at this Champions League tournament in Aradia, Romania. So here we go. The final game. Of the quarter final stage. Cautious start by both teams. Sierra having the ball in the opening exchanges. It's a good effort. The keeper's down low. Oh, the soccer Sixers players took a bit of an injury there. Play gets back underway. Zero in possession. But it's an early break for the ABC Soccer Sixers. Good interception. Zero having most of the ball in the opening exchanges. It's a good ball into feet. It's a great layoff. Oh, and he's just pulled it wide. It's a good start, though. The threat's there from Sierra. Soccer Sixers have to be alive to that particular move because he was wide open. Just walking the ball out of the minute, trying to get a little bit of time on the ball, the opening exchange has been a lot of the play's been zero so the soccer sixes have to try and get themselves a little bit of a foothold in this game a 
A little bit of confusion there between the the ABC players, which has left them giving possession back to Zira. It's a nice cut inside, it's a lay across. It's good feet, it's good turn, what a goal! What a finish! The footwork, neat and tidy. The finish, on point, clinical, accurate, bottom corner. 1-0 Zira. Look at that, look at the footwork and the finish. Keeper had no chance. So it's an early goal. We're three minutes in. And Zira have the lead. And he's gone for the long ball. It's easily cleared. And this player's claiming injury again. Just a coming together. I'm not sure what he's complaining about there. Nice play by Zira. Drawing out the soccer sixes. Good footwork again. Great ball. Good hold up play by the forward. Nice flick. They still have the ball. They're well in control there, Zira. Oh. It's real positive play by them. Really lively, really energetic. Moving the ball crisply. Quick in possession. They're moving the soccer sixes about. They're creating the spaces. Causing all kinds of problems at the minute. The soccer sixes don't really look like they're woken up at the minute. It just seems to be wave after wave of zero attacks. And here's another one. Again, it's super footwork. Again, he's going for the finish. The referee has signaled that the keeper got a touch on it. And it'll be a corner to zero. Really enjoyable football to watch from Zira, the team from Azerbaijan. He's gone for the short one. It's easily cut out. I've seen these lads knocking about at the same hotel where I'm staying here in Aradia. They look from day one like they're here to, to do the business and that is what they're doing tonight. Very composed, very calm, very relaxed. Good idea with the ball. Just good cover play. They're in control at the minute. Brilliant ball. That's super, that's what you're looking for. Quick snappy balls. Cutting through the lines. Finding your man, he's unmarked at that near post. Could he, could he have done better? Should he have done better? Might be looking at 1-1 if he did. It's great work down there again. Free kick has been given though. He's gone for the long throw. It's a good hold up play. Keeping hold of the ball now, a little bit more. Joy on the ball. Oof. Brilliant effort. Keeper scrambling towards towards his near post. Had him worried for a second. He's gone long. Again, fantastic hold up play. Can he find his teammate? Oh, I think they've done enough. Oh, they haven't! The opportunity was there to get rid of the ball. They never got rid of the ball, and just when you feel that the soccer sixes are getting back into the game. They've, they've gone and conceded a second. I mean, I'm just looking at the replay there, and I think if I was if I was a teammate, if I was coaching on the side, 
my question would be, what are we doing with the ball there? Just clear it, just get rid of it. It's imminent danger. You're surrounded by zero players. You cannot take the touch there in your own penalty. Oh, what's the keeper doing? What's the keeper doing? It's won a free kick. I think he's fortunate. But if I was a teammate or a coach, I'd be asking, I'd be asking him there, what was you doing? Just get rid of the ball. Because now not only have we got did we have the one goal to find, we now have the two goals to find. So early advantage in this game. We're not even a quarter of the way through yet, but Zira from Azerbaijan hold a two-goal lead over the ABC Soccer Sixers from Great Britain. And they've been caught out again, and he's got a man coming with him. If he can find him, he goes it alone. He doesn't need the man in the centre because he's popped it in the top corner. It's 3-0. The mountain just got bigger. They're going to have to get them hiking boots on. They put some work in to haul themselves back into this game. Three 0 Just looking at the replay, caught in possession. Sloppy work again from the ABC Soccer Sixers. They can't catch him. He had a player to his left, but he opted to go for the near post, near top corner. And it was a super, super finish. And they're in again. This could be a this could be a cricket score. Oh! It's 4-0. We're not even at 10 minutes yet. And it's already looking like we have our final semi-finalists here at the European. Mini Football Federation Champions League tournament in Aradia, Romania. They look shell shocked. It's not only the fact that they've they've made the mistakes. I think what's more impressive is how clinical Zero have been, and they have been clinical. We've seen chances given away at this tournament, but we've not always seen them seen them talk, seen the teams take advantage of the mistakes every mistake here that the ABC Soccer Sixers have made zero have pounced on them they've been incredibly clinical and they currently sit 4-0 4-0 up with 10 minutes on the clock and again they've been caught this is going to be 5 it, oh it should have been 5 I don't know how he's put that over they're in absolute disarray If they don't tighten this up, it could be 10 before half time. They look deflated out there, they look out of ideas. They're scared on the ball. They're not making the right choices, they're being put under pressure. Again, it's a slip. Again, it's an effort. Oh, we're talking inches. Inches from 5 0. There's so many mistakes to pick through here. There's so many errors. But the team from Azerbaijan, they're, they're hungry. They want more. And the keeper, oh my word, the keeper's having a go. Go on, lad. Oh, and he's caught out. Oh, is that a free kick? I think the keeper's thinking there, lads, if you're not going to do it, I'm going to have a pot myself. Could have been looking at um <laughs> well if it wasn't for the foul i think i think you, you, we could have been talking about five now it should be six or seven nil already this they're in again another opportunity they've won the ball back it's all too easy they don't know whether to stick or twist the abc soccer sixers you've got players rushing in you've got players pulling back i mean the game it already looks too far for him, so, you know, try and get a little bit of 
credibility back. Try and keep the scoreline as, as respectable as possible. I, I said this earlier. When Bastrita went and won their match 10 0. From everything I've seen so far, suggest this one could beat that scoreline that we had earlier in the day. It's a good effort, that, to be honest. It's just, he's unlucky that it's, well, it's hit the back of the head of his own player, otherwise, it's going in if the keeper can't save it. But that just tells you the story of their match so far. So the keeper's coming out. ABC Soccer Six is on the ball, trying to find a route back into the game. It's not happening with a pass like that though, or a shot like that, should I say. Throw into zero. You'd say it's been a comfortable evening for them, and it has in terms of the scoreline, but you've got to acknowledge the work rate that they're putting. They look sharp, they're making runs all over the pitch, they're closing down, they're being aggressive, they're being everything you want to see in a successful six-a-side team, and the way things stand there, absolutely cruising. Into the last four, to the semi-finals tomorrow, to guarantee themselves two further games Ooh. there's some tough opposition waiting for him in those semi-finals but they'll believe after this performance they'll believe they can go all the way Oh, it's lovely. It's beautiful to watch. It's a joy to watch, actually. Look at this. This is the football I like to see. One touch, passing and moving, zipping it across the surface. Getting the occasional little flicks in there. The keeper's getting involved. They're pulling the soccer sixes all over. There's a mistake here, though, and there's a chance. But they're hounded out. And look at this. There's a break on. And he's away. He's away. This could be five. Oh! I think he was caught in two minds. I think it was it was neither a pass nor a shot. It was it was in between. And what we've seen so far from him is the clinical. And they'll have a go. They're, they're, not, they're not too scared to have a pop. They're not always looking for the pass. Which is why I'm I'm surprised it, based on what we've seen so far, he took that that option. I thought I thought a shot was absolutely nailed on. So Zira in command, still popping the ball about, lovely, unlucky. It's a joy to watch this first half, brilliant football. So the ball with the soccer sixes. It's 4 0. I still got to believe it's, it's four goals. There's still a full half football to be played. It's not beyond the footballing realms to say that they could pull this back. There needs to be a massive shift, though, in this football match. There'd have to be a serious, serious drop off from the team from Azerbaijan to lose this tie now but you never know in football it's a good play again Ooh. 
Oh, he's, he's tried to roll it back and it's, oh, it's a mistake. Keeper comes out. What's the referee given here? I think he's given a free kick to Zira. Free kick to Zira, deep, deep inside the soccer sixers half. Let's see what magic they've got up the the sock here. Ooh, good covering. He managed to get across. Oh, it's a brilliant save. Well done, keeper. Point blank. Managed to get his, his foot across. Well done. Keeps the score at 4-0 there. Looking for a crossfield pass, that's better. Good forward play, hold up the ball. Better from the Soccer Sixers. I keep moving the ball about now, but they're under pressure. Look at the work rate from the team from Azerbaijan. Not giving them a minute to breathe. It has become the modern way of football. All your top teams tend to, tend to adopt a pressing game, and he's gone for it. Giving a free kick, I think, yeah, for a late challenge. Yeah, like I was saying, modern football, very much fitness is a massive part of it these days. With the top teams opting to make their, their sides press, defend from the front, chase them down, hunting packs, get the ball back as, as quickly as you can, look to hit on the break quickly as you can. If you can't do that, be fantastic and comfortable on the ball. And that's exactly what Zero are. Nobody panics. Technical ability really good by all the players. And if you mix that up with the work rate and the effort that they put in, you've got yourself a really good footballing team and that's what we're witnessing here. And that is another fantastic ball. He's shoved him a bit wide. Oh, he's unlucky. And that is half-time. Brilliant half from the team from Azerbaijan. They go in at the break, 4-0 up against the ABC Soccer Sixers from Great Britain. Give us a few minutes, we'll be back for some more Soccer Six action.
So here we go. Big second half needed from the ABC Soccer Sixers to have any chance of being coming back here tomorrow morning to compete in the semi-finals. It's the ABC Soccer Sixers with the ball. Change of keeper. They're going for a sweep. <laughs> keeper, I think he's just knocked his, his own player out there. So very much the sweeper keeper tactic deployed now. They've got to take the risk. They're going to have another pop again. Oh, he's, I don't know if he just took that off his own. I don't know if he just stopped that going in the back of the net. He's given a corner, but it hit, it hit him. Crazy scenes. Oh, he's having a little bit of a dribble here. He's gone for the pass. It's a good pass as well. There's more intent. This is what we like to see. You've got to have a go here. You want to stay in this tournament. You're heading out as it is, so you might as well have a go. I still can't get over that shot there. I'm sure his, his own player's blocked it off the line. I'm sure it, it passed the keeper. It would have been 4-1. And he's on the ball again. Nice pass into the forward player. And it's another strike and it's another corner. I tell you what, you've got to give it to the soccer sixers. They're having a go. Which is all you can ask. Good start for them in this second half. And he's got it again, the keeper. And he's having another shot and he did the post! What an effort! Almost. Inches. That's two. Could have had two goals in, in what? A, a minute and 44 seconds. It's certainly, some, certainly something for him to think about. There's an extra threat now for the Soccer Sixers. And he's coming in the shape of this sweeper keeper. And he's got space again. And I've... I'd be shocked if there's not more shots going to come raining down from him. What a ball. That's a better ball. It's a better play, really. Oh, they're showing the back. Surely a free kick. Yeah, it had to be. Clear push. Okay. Game's back underway. Oh, it's unlucky. It's unlucky. I love it, though. You know, you're coming out, you're 4 0 down, you've got nothing to lose, you can be out there, you can mope about it, or get stuck in, have a go, play the football in cards and see what you get dealt. And they're certainly, they're certainly going for it. The pressing, they're not giving him any time on the ball. It's a totally different second half. Some of the zero players starting to get a little bit frustrated, a little bit flustered. It makes you wonder why the Soccer Sixers didn't start like this. They're in again. Hounded him. No time on the ball. The claiming handball there. It's been given. There's a late challenge as well. There's no apologies. There's a little bit of a little bit of a disagreement here between the two players. It was a bit late, but I think it was in frustration by thinking there wasn't getting the earlier free kick, which then there was awarded, but it was a late call. I think the referee was maybe. Trying to offer some advantage there. Brilliant start though this. They're having a go. And he's having another shot. And again it's blocked. And he's on the ball again, the keeper. Throw into the soccer sixers. Oh, it's a short one. And his teammate got him out of, got him out of trouble there. Easy collection. <laughs> he's strolling. He's strolling forward again. And he's he's dropping the shoulder now. He's still got the ball down there in the corner for the soccer six. It's good forward play. Oh, there's a chance here, an opportunity. Straight down the throat of the keeper, either side, it would have caused him some problems. It's a totally different game, this. The Soccer Sixers are well on top. They just need a goal. Oh, it's 
claiming it. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure. He's gone down, he's claiming, he's holding his, his face. I think there was an arm leaning across. They've got the free kick. The keeper's behind it. You know what's happening here, don't you? Oh, no, he shocked me. Oh! Again, it's, an, and it's, it's a good turn. It's a good left to the back post. Great footwork again. Oh, just a little bit too much at the end. Free kick again. Pressure, pressure, pressure. What a second half. They're just missing a goal. I think if the, if the, if the goal is to come and they get it, it's 4-1. Yes, there's still a long way to go, but it'll, put, it'll sow some seeds of doubt in the zero players. Layoff. Strike. Oh, he's just... He's just pulled it wide. And we're off again. They're adopting the high press. Zero have got to go long. It's Zero now that are under the pressure, but that's okay for them. They won't mind it to some extent because they know that the Soccer Sixers have got four goals to make up and they can just concentrate on staying compact, staying tight, making it difficult for them to get a goal and then look to hit them on the break like this. The keeper's out. He's cleared it. And it's a beautiful punch from a spectator. Send the ball back into the... The arena floor and they won the ball back. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he's tried to rush it. Don't rush it. You've done all the work. You've got the ball back. Protect the ball a little bit. Look for the right option. There's still plenty of time in this second half. You've just got to get that next goal. Another free kick again. Good football. It's a totally different team. I, I can't believe what I'm seeing compared to the first half. Playing some really, really good football. He's going to have a go. He's pulled that one a little bit wide. You know, based on this second half performance, if they'd have started the game like this, we'd have had a lot closer contest. I don't even think Zira can quite understand the difference between the two teams. But here is Zira. Some possession. They haven't had any for a while. It's been all soccer sixes in this opening seven minutes. So soccer sixes on the ball again. Working the way up the field. Pass the ball out wide. Into the front man. Good work. Held the ball up nicely. Created some space for the for the man at the back. Spreads it wide. The keeper's waiting. He's going to have a dig, isn't he? Oh, he's hit the... I think he's hit the post again. I think he's hit the post. Let's watch that back. Oh, I can't quite see from this angle. It looked like the ball changed direction slightly. I just keep giving this kid a go. Pressure again. They're going to win it back again. Brilliant work, Soccer Sixers. He's just missing a goal and ball, surely. So, 11 minutes remain. It's still 4 0 to 0 from the Azerbaijan against ABC Soccer Sixers from Great Britain. And we've got a yellow card here for a challenge coming through the back of number 22 from the ABC Soccer Sixers. And he's gone off and he's not happy and he's just kicked the seating area where he's sat. Free kick.
Acrobatics to clear the ball for Zira. The Soccer Sixers are in possession again. Good crossfield ball. Good clearance. Ten minutes to go. We're getting into the realms of football miracles needed for the Soccer Sixers to return tomorrow morning for the semi-finals. They can really hold their heads up high after the second half performance. It's a brilliant effort, it's a brilliant save. Are they on for the rebound? Oh. Crossfield ball finds its target. Takes his eye off it for a second. And it's out of play for a zero throw. And they'll be glad of the break, really. They've been hounded this second half. But credit to the team from Azerbaijan. They're stuck to the task. They remain difficult to beat. They've protected the four goal lead really well. But the Soccer Sixers again. Again, they've got the ball back. Again, they've won a free kick. So, keeper's got the ball. Looking for the front man, holding it off, back to the keeper. It's gone wide. Oh, again, just a little mistakes at the crucial times. Takes the ball out for a goal kick. And the clock is ticking down on the tournament at the minute, but they've given a brilliant account of themselves, second half. Zero were absolutely superb, irresistible in the first 20 minutes. Soccer Sixers couldn't lay a glove on them. They were clinical, they were ruthless, they took a four-goal lead to half-time. And then in the second half, it's been all Soccer Sixers have tried to get back in this game. They've threw everything and the kitchen sink at the Azerbaijans. But they've held firm. There's still four goals to the good. They need something, they need it fast. Because it's not just one goal they've got to find, it's four. Oh, I tell you what, I think there's a call there, there's nothing being given. They've given a goal kick. He's asking the question there, it did look to me like it came through behind him. Let's have another look. Oh, uh, maybe there's not a lot in it. It's a risky one, though. And it's another loose one. Player down injured on the floor. The team from zero are up. They're not happy. They've seen something. The referee is talking to a player from the ABC Soccer Sixers. There's no card been brandished. I'm not quite sure there what there was unhappy with. The, the replay I've just seen is inconclusive. Foul's being given. ABC Soccer Sixers are not happy. They don't believe it was a foul. The frustration's growing here. The, the clock's ticking down. They're running out of time. They're fast running out of time, really. Five and a half minutes left. Four goals required. It's a huge ask. They have to start by getting one here. That's a push in the back, surely. Throwing given. It's thrown to the back stick. It's a good block. It's back in the possession of the Soccer Sixers. As they're still searching for that first goal. Good work, good play. It's through on goal. Oh. 
Underneath it, shot over the bar. I think the only thing missing from the second half performance from the Soccer Sixers is a goal. That's a brilliant ball. So unlucky there for Zira. Good turn. Push in the back, nothing given. No, it's given now. No advantage by the referee. See, free kick to the Soccer Sixers. Deep in their own half. Keeper on the ball. Great crossfield pass. Having a shot, it's pretty tame. So they'll build again, they'll go again. Still chasing the first goal of the match. It's good play, good hold up play. You can see he was trying to go with the shot. <laughs> You'll not want to watch that one back. You want that one scratching off the re the replay reel. You don't see many shin rollers at this level, but you just see one there, and it was technically brilliant. <laughs> Zero on the ball. Hounded out again. Zero throw. Three and a half minutes left. Oh, it's a bit solid and short. He's got the ball. Is this the opportunity? Oh, he's prodded it wide. Looks like he's hit with his toe. I think that, that's been the difference really. I think first half, similar chances fell in the way of zero, but they were absolutely clinical. Some of the finishes from them in the first half were breathtaking. And I just think the second half, it's been, it's been all soccer sixes, but they've just not been able to convert any of the chances that they've had. The keeper's been unlucky. It's hit the bar, I think he hit the post as well. But I think that's the difference. You wanna, you wanna win at any level. The teams that that make it to the final stages are the ones that are clinical, the ruthless in front of goal. They take no prisoners. And there you go again. I mean, that's a fantastic little solo run. The pitch opened up. He drove into the space, broke the lines. Has an effort, it's a good save by the keeper. Corner ball, and it's another corner ball. Last two minutes. It's been hounded out there. And he's had a goal, but it's a covering defender that comes across. Makes the challenge. Blocks the ball. Soccer Sixers corner. They do deserve at least one goal to take away from this game with them. Can they get it? Good idea. But again, they've just found another player from zero blocking the path. Oh, it's sloppy. And he's gone for it. And that's what I'm talking about. It's a super finish. That's, what, that's the ruthlessness. That is how ruthless this Zira team are. Half a chance. They take it. 5-0. They are through to the EMF Champions League semi-final. They'll be back tomorrow morning fighting for a place in the final tomorrow night. Ruthless. Been a brilliant display. I know the Soccer Sixers have had the best of the second half, but Zero have been really disciplined. Hardly give him a sniff of a chance. The best chances have really come from long range with the keeper. They're just clinical. They're clinical in front of goal and, and whoever they come up against 
tomorrow in the semi-final will have to be wary that they cannot give them easy opportunities because they've just shown tonight that they will take them. It's been a brilliant display. It's definitely been a game of two halves. Zira flew out the traps. Ruthless in front of gold. Quick early goals. They built on that. They got the third. They got the fourth. They were in at half time, 4 0 up. They come out the second half. They sat back. They allowed Soccer Sixers to take the ball. Sat in shape. Made it difficult for them. Conserved probably some energy for tomorrow because they had a big. A big goal advantage to defend. And then, in the dying moments of the second half, they was presented with an opportunity. They showed the ruthlessness again. They showed how clinical they are. It's a brilliant finish from near the halfway line. And it ends in the final game of the quarter-final stage of the EMF Champions League at the Antonio Alexi Arena in Oradia, Romania. 0-5 from the Azerbaijan, ABC, ABC 6 and 0 from Great Britain. It's been a super day of football. Make sure you join us from 10 in the morning as we kick off the semi-finals and then be back tomorrow night as we have the third and fourth place playoff match with the grand finale to wrap up this Champions League. Who will it be? Join us to see. I've been Wayne Riles. Make sure you join us tomorrow. Let's see who wins the CMF Champions League.